Sports is brought to you by Jim White Honda. I am Jordan Strack. It is officially desperation mode for the University of Toledo women's basketball team. With just one month left in the season, the Rockets are on the outside looking in at the MAC tournament. Today, they badly needed a road win at Kent State. The Rockets actually played a fantastic game today. They showed some life. Quinesha Lockett went off for 31 points. Toledo was up by nine at the half, but Kent State would storm back. Toledo down five here, six seconds to play, but it's Sophia Wired to the rescue. She makes a three. They're down by just two. So the Bellevue grad, Casey Santoro, goes to the line for Kent, makes the first, misses the second. It's a three-point game, just over two seconds left. Wired, once again, trying to become the hero, gets the inbounds, makes an unbelievable three there. It's tied at 73 all, and it's heading to overtime. But in the extra session, KD Shoemate was just too much. The sister of Toledo men's basketball player JT Shoemate, the Rockets lose a heartbreaker 93-87. They have now lost five out of their last six games. And how about this matchup? Number one versus number two, South Carolina and UConn. Zaya Cook, the Rodgers grad, the play of the game to beat the first half buzzer, she would drain that from half court, take another look. An incredible moment for Zaya on the biggest stage in the sport. But UConn would come back to get the win in overtime over South Carolina. NASCAR is back this week. The Daytona 500 is this Sunday on Fox 36. One guy to keep an eye on this year is Alex Bowman. He had a breakout year in 2020 and is hoping to build on that for this year. One of the biggest storylines is that he is going to be taking over the number 48 car of Jimmy Johnson, who recently retired. You could put whatever number you want on the side of it, and the pressure is going to be the same for me because I just want to win and really care about how, how we run as a race team and um, probably care more than I should at times. But it's, um, it's really cool to get to drive the 48. Obviously, getting to drive the 88 was really cool as well. So another cool, similar opportun opportunity. And... Excited to work with Ally. Bowman raced as a youngster on the ARCA series, and back in 2012, he led them to green from the pole here at Toledo Speedway in the 22 car. He finished ninth that day, and he vividly remembers that race, even if it was over eight years ago. Obviously, running ARCA, um, you get to see a lot of really cool short tracks. So uh, Toledo was one of them, really enjoyed it. I think we, we were on the pole and then um, spun out like halfway through the race and kind of tried to come back from that there at the end. We had an issue on pit road that like buried us in the field and wasn't the, the greatest of days for us. But um, yeah, I mean, short track racing is just so much fun, especially ARCA cars at that time had a ton of horsepower, a really soft tire made a lot of grip. They were they were a lot of fun to drive. And finally tonight, there has been so much discussion about league realignment for high schools in our area. Well, tonight the first domino has fallen. The Elmwood Board of Education has approved the Royals to move out of the Northern Buckeye Conference and into the Blanchard Valley Conference. There has been so much discussion behind closed doors tonight, the first major domino to fall, and there will certainly be many more coming in the upcoming weeks and months. For now, that is it for sports.